So it's finally time to check the clearances for the crank. So I figured I'd do a tile bore gauge versus plastic gauge comparison just to see how close they are and how easy it would be to read plastic gauge versus the dial bore gauge. So I'm going to take everybody to this. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. And I guess if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're probably curious as well. So I'm going to torque everything. I've got ARP studs here. So everything's going to be nice and, and, and tight. I will mic every journal of the crank and then we'll, we'll compare and write them down. And then we'll see what happens when we put the crank in here and the um, and the plastic gauge. So I already have the bearings in the caps. I'm going to go ahead and put them in and we'll see if any require assistance. It looks like they're, they're going in fairly, fairly easy. This one probably requires a little bit of help. Okay, so all of them are nice and seated. It's time to put the studs in. Last step. Okay, whew. So now we're gonna mic the journals and set our dial bore gauge. like it's 2.489 so 2.49 I guess really close we're talking about a thousand of an inch under spec Looking at about 1.8. This is the second, and it looks like it's right on the thousand. That's perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the third one. One point eight. Looks like it's about one point eight. Now for the last one. We're looking at 2.5. Now we're going to take everything out, make sure the crank is nice and clean, put it in, put some plastic gauge on it, and see what it looks like. Crank is in, so now I'm going to put some plastic gauge and then I'll torque everything and we'll see what we get. Everything snugged up right now. I'm going to start torquing them in sequence. We will go metal, inside, outside, and then we will keep on staggering them. So. Woo! 
I think I need a longer torque wrench. Okay, so we got everything torqued. I do want to spin this, <laughs> but that's probably a bad idea in this uh, scenario. So I'm going to have to take this apart now, and then we'll see what we get. Maybe I'll give it a minute and myself. Cheers, motor. Okay, beer is gone, back to work. Also now I'm going to loosen up the studs just a little bit, just so I can make sure that I can take the caps off without any pressure. It's definitely off the crank, okay. Okay. Let's compare this. So it looks pretty accurate. I mean this is a thousand so it's definitely smaller than that. This is 1.5, thousand and a half, and mine was 1.8. This is two which is smaller so it's definitely somewhere in between so I mean you could definitely guesstimate this I mean if I was to say I would probably say this is 1 1.6 1 1.7 8 well it's kind of hard to tell it's definitely close but it's oh let's see I mean I guess you could incorrectly say that this is 1.5 But it's not perfect. Slightly, slightly smaller. So you could say, yeah, this is a little bit bigger. 1.6, 1.7. So it's surprisingly good. I would say that maybe two ten thousandths accuracy. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, some of it did rub on the cap. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so it looks like half of it is on there, half of it is on this other one. So I don't know if that's normal or not, being that this is the first time I'm trying it. But at first glance, it appears to be pretty good. This next one, we'll get in here. I would say that this one is. Same thing. I'll see this one is maybe looks slightly bigger than the other one, so this one I'll probably estimate at seven, maybe eight, one point eight. So this one was two. So it looks I mean unless I'm just eyeballing it wrong, I would say that I'm getting about two ten thousands error. I'm estimating it that tighter by two ten thousand so we'll move down the line and we'll see what we find with the other ones this one this one is probably the closest one to two thousands maybe slightly under so I would say that this one's probably 1 1.9 or something like that 1.8 and that one was 1 1.8 so there seems to be a little bit of variety You know, there, it seems to be squished a little more in, in the back. So it's about 2,000. But over here, where... So it may have something to do with the way I pulled the cap off. But in this spot, it's definitely smaller than 2,000. Than, than so I would say that it's in 3 is so tight that, you know, if you were to compare this and this, you would probably estimate it about 2.5. So that's that's fairly close. I think that was a 2.6. So I can't believe I'm going to say this, but if I was to declare a winner and factor in both price and precision, I would really have to give it to the plastic gauge because 
with five bucks as opposed to probably micrometers and mortgage around what five hundred bucks for for quality set new we're talking about a hundred times more expensive so two ten thousandths of an inch out for for that difference in price it's not worth it now obviously if you're looking for exact super high precision you're making race engines things like that then that's plastic edge is not your tool but just to double check and in situations where you don't have access to pull the crank out this seems to be more than adequate now I will say this if all I had was plastic gauge I would probably do it twice and I would also cut the ends off because I don't know enough about the product but it could be that it it has a it has maybe a shelf life where it dries out it seems to be um, based on and we call it plastic gauge but it looks more like wax to me so it's possible that there is a situation where it dries out so it introduces a certain amount of air but even with that two ten thousands of an inch that's impressive for five bucks so like I said I would do it I would do it twice I would average out the results cut the ends off and then and then go from there and I'm pretty sure the fact that it's been around since God knows probably the 50s if if I I read the information correctly suggests that it's a pretty good product so if people are still using it then it means that it's doing what it's supposed to this is this is a fantastic piece of um, of tech for five bucks so buy it use it if you're not sure rent a mortgage buy a mortgage that's it have a good day